All right. So welcome to yoga. Um, I've decided that the next 10 or so classes that we're going to do are going to each have a theme. <laughs> I don't know if you saw today in the um, email, but today's theme is yoga for a rough day. I don't know if you had a rough day, but if you didn't, you can use this at a later date. <laughs> so going with that theme, we're going to start on our backs. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> there's going to be a lot of focus on breath and what we can do and how we can use the breath to kind of visualize different things about letting go, also clearing the space, clearing our minds, getting, shedding some of the stuff that's happened throughout the day. So why don't we just start really easily just by feet on the ground and we're just gonna let the knees fall to the right and then come up and fall to the left. So we're just gently moving that lower back and the hips and the pelvis, warming them up kind of rocking ourselves into a kind of more nurturing state, taking some deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Sometimes parts of our day are rough and parts of our day are just fine. So today's class is really gonna be focused on yoga for a rough day, yoga to let go, to shed, to cleanse, and to reconnect with our inner resources. Good, and then go ahead and just bring those knees to the chest and hug those knees to the chest. Maybe nice big squeeze and a big exhale. Inhale, release the knees away, and then exhale one more time. Squeeze those knees in into the chest. Good. And we're going to put the feet flat on the ground, and we're going to inhale. On the exhale, just a very gentle bridge, pressing the pelvis up towards the ceiling. And inhale, lower down. Exhale, press the pelvis up, rooting those four corners of the feet into the ground. And inhale, lower down. So nice, slow breaths. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Keep going. Last one. Stay at the top of your bridge, and we're just going to breathe here. Five breaths. And lower down, good. One more time, let's hug those knees to the chest. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the knees to the chest. Good, let's cross the right leg over the left like we're kind of sitting in a chair. We're gonna let the legs fall to the left gently looking over the right shoulder. So we're kind of 
starting with this gentle spinal twist. What, and while we're here, inhale and on the exhale, visualize starting from the top of your head, down through your torso, down through your hips, down through your legs, knees, and shins and toes. Just a kind of pressing outward with that exhale. And we're gonna visualize just shedding whatever issues, tensions, disruptions have come into our awareness for today. Sort of almost like an elevator going down that, that diagonal line of your body, pressing out all that negative tension. Two more breaths. Good. Lift to center and uncross those legs. Give them a little shake. Ooh. We'll kick and then cross the left over the right and let the knees fall to the right. <clears throat> Same thing. Visualize on the inhale, that elevator going to the top and on the exhale, elevator going down, 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 down on that diagonal line. And it's just pressing out any tension from the day. Good. Coming back to center, unhook those legs, give them a little shake, wag the pelvis a little bit on the ground. Shake, 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 shake. Good. <clears throat> We're just gonna do a few roll-ups here. Inhale, arms above the head. On the exhale, peel your upper body off the floor. Come all the way to sitting, give yourself a little moment, and then release forward. This is very early in the practice. You might not get down very far in your fold. That's fine. We're just going to see what it feels like. You can sway a little bit right and left. <clears throat> And then when you're ready, roll through the spine to come back to sitting. And then peel yourself back down slowly, slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale, arms come above the head. And then exhale right back up, slowly with control, peeling. Keep your arms, try to keep your arms by your ear. Come to sitting and give that nice long length and moment there and then reach forward and release. I'm flexing my feet just to keep them engaged. Big sigh here. Good, coming up to sitting, reverse, peeling down. Slow down right when you get to that part where it's really hard to slow down. <laughs> Inhale. One more time. Three is the lucky number today. Keep those arms by the ears if you can. That gives it a little extra challenge. Coming up to sitting, drop those shoulders and then reach forward and just hang out here for a second. Really release the back of the neck. If you need to shake your head out, no, or yes. Let gravity do the work here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And when you're ready, come all the way up. We're just going to do a few stretches in a seated position, right leg in front. Inhale, scoop those arms up. Exhale, left hand comes to the mat. Looking under the right armpit, drop that scapula and root that right hip. Open up the chest, twist up towards the ceiling. See if you can get that elbow down to the ground. If not, that's okay. And recover. Scoop that energy up again. Look up and the right arm comes to the mat. And we look under the left armpit, rooting the left hip, dropping the left scapula, opening up the chest to the ceiling. And recover. Good. And scooping that energy up, looking up. And exhale all the way forward. Hands come down to the mat. And release. And we're just going to sway here a little bit from right to left. So just heavy head. And we're just going to let that head kind of sway gently from left to right. So you should feel a really nice stretch in your lower back. <clears throat> and walk those hands up. Let's just take a little arch right here with the hands on the knees. Look up. Inhale, press those shoulders down, chin to the ceiling, and exhale, scoop the belly button towards the spine and contract, drop the chin to the chest. Couple more of those, hands on your knees if you can. If you need to put some blocks under your legs to help you, that is a good thing to, as well. If you can't, it's not comfortable. But you can always put your legs out in front of you if that's also uncomfortable. And you can just sit here with the legs extended and do your contractions and your arches. But just make sure your shoulders aren't up by your ears. You want the shoulders down, dropped down. Good. All right, wherever you are, let's extend those legs. Fingertips back behind you facing forward. Inhale, squeeze those shoulders together behind you, chin to chest. Exhale, press the pelvis up in the air and the chin comes to the ceiling. Breathe. On the exhale, lower the hips and shake those legs out. Bring the left leg in front of the right this time. Scoop that energy up. Let's take the right hand to the mat, looking under the left armpit, root that opposite hip. Breathe, open up the chest. <clears throat> ah, recover, bring that arm down. Scoop the energy up, look up. Left hand comes to the left. Left elbow to the mat, root the opposite hip. Open the chest. Mm. And recover. And last, scooping up, looking up, energy forward and relax go ahead and just heavy head here swaying from left to right should feel really luscious on that lower back oh yes let it go let go all of that residual little electric negativity. We don't need it anymore. We're leaving it behind. Walk those hands up and extend the legs. Bring the feet about 
I don't know, is that two feet in front of the hips? Hands behind us, fingertips facing forward. Inhale, chin to chest. And then exhale, let's come into table, reverse table, inverse table, and breathe. On the exhale, come on down. Good. Let's come on to our forearms. <clears throat> We're gonna do a very gentle ab exercise. The legs are gonna be up in table and we're on our forearms. We're going to drop the knees to the right, bring them up as close as we can, tracing an arc to the chest and then drop them to the left. And then arc, tracing that like half circle towards the chest and then towards the other side. Inhale as you bring the legs up. Exhale as you drop. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. As I drop those knees down, I'm kind of stretching the toes towards the edge of my mat. So I'm kind of lengthening the legs a little. So I'm really tracing a half circle with my knees. And your hip does come off the floor, yeah? So as you're lowering those knees to the floor, your opposite hip is coming up, keep going. One more set. And relax. Ooh, that just generated some heat. Or maybe it's just really hot in here. Ah, get some breeze going. Okay, good. One more ab here. The abs that we do at the beginning of a yoga class are really just about generating that warm up heat so that we're ready to do some more rigorous activity. So, this is, let's see. Okay, we can stay on our forearms. We're going to bring our left knee into our chest, we're going to lift the legs up and then switch. Right knee comes to the chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. So you bring the legs up and then you switch the knee that comes to the chest. Inhale. Now this is option one with the forearms on the ground. If you want to take it up a notch, you can take the hands to the back of the head. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Inhale. <sighs> Elbows back. Head is up off the ground. Upper chest is off the ground. The legs meet up in the air and then they part. A couple more. Last set. Good, relax. Hug those knees in, rock back and forth. Good, all right. I wanna take a moment here to just relax down on the mat. Let's take our hand, our left hand to our heart and our right hand to our belly. Let's just take a little scan moment here. 
See what's happening in our body. Close your eyes. When we've had a rough day, sometimes we just need a little touch, a little, uh, like a hand on your shoulder. But right now we're doing that for ourselves. We're putting our hand on our heart and a hand on our belly. We're giving our heart and our belly a little bit of warmth, a little bit of nurturing, checking in with our, our torso, our gut. our spirit, our breath. Yeah, good, shake it out. Shake out those wrists. Let's do a little rock and roll here, just to kind of get a little bit of stimulation on that lower back. You, hopefully you have a nice soft mat. You can do a little rocking back and forth, a mm, little massage. And then when you come up, go ahead and cross the legs and then just scoop yourself into all fours. So you kind of rock over those legs. Now we're in table. We're gonna do a little prayer, pushing the hips back and then rolling up into cobra just gentle here right here inhale exhale inhale exhale three more two more last one Good, go ahead and tuck those toes and come into down dog. Same thing, down dog. And then a little high cobra. You can drop the pelvis a little bit. And down dog. And looking up, tight glutes. Last one. And a nice cobra, and then lift that pelvis, and let's just hold plank. Mm. Press into those hands. Neck is in line with the spine. Don't let it hang. Breathe. And booties up, down dog. Oh, yes, good, breathe, 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 breathe. Lift that right leg up and step it through. Let's do a nice runner's lunge with a twist here. Take that right arm up, left arm is on the mat. <clears throat> uh, sure, I think you wanna switch. So your right hand is gonna be on the mat and your left is gonna be up, I think. Do you have your right foot forward? Oh, okay, so sorry, you're wrong. I was, I'm wrong, you were right. <laughs> Your legs are cut off. <laughs> uh, all right, hand to the head. We're gonna curve across, take that elbow, sweep it down and across and up and out. So we're getting that, those obliques a little worked here. So you wanna kind of trace that elbow in another half circle forward and then down and across. Try to touch your elbow to your left armpit. It won't get there, but that's where you're kind of aiming. Yeah, a couple more. Good. Hands to the mat. Let's do a few stretches here. Straighten the leg, nose to knee, back down to runner's lunge. I'm gonna take my blocks on either edge of my mat and I'm gonna do this with my blocks. So 
straighten up, pull that right hip back, back into the runner's lunge. We're just oiling up the joints here. Good. I'll meet you in down dog. Hold out and down, and down dog. Down dog is a great place to come to at any point. It's actually a resting pose, if you can believe that. <laughs> All right, lift that left leg, step it through. Twist, left arm comes up. Lengthen the back of that right leg, uh, back knee. Don't lock it. Hand comes to the head. Trace that arc forward and across. Back up. Come to that twisted position. So after you try to reach the elbow to the armpit, trace the arc and then come all the way around. Look at that back wall behind you. Last one. Good, hands to the mat. Grab your blocks if you want them. Straighten that front leg, nose to knee, and then back down to the lunge. Five of these. Hands to the mat, take that left leg back. Let's come into plank, let's drop the knees. Let's lower slowly, slowly, slowly the torso down to the mat as slowly as you can and release. Pull the mat towards you with, the, with your palms of your hands as you just lift the top of the head towards the ceiling. Feel how your arms are engaged. Ooh, hold, pull that mat, and release. Go ahead and just rock back and forth here. Good. Ooh. All right, we're gonna extend both arms above our heads, forehead is on the ground, inhale, on the exhale, lift the right arm and the left leg, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, and we're going to take the timing up faster, Little faster now. Last time. And release. Go ahead and just cross your hands over each other. Whenever I do that exercise, I think of those toys that the kids had when they were little in the bathtub that kicked around. They were like little swimmers. And they would do this with their arms and legs. <sighs> Go ahead and take the heels together behind you. Click those heels. There's no place like home. Go ahead and inhale and exhale. Lift those legs off the floor, pressing the pelvis down into the mat. Hold. Extend the right leg. Breathe, bring it in. Extend the left leg. Bring it in. Right. Keep the legs off the mat, knees off the mat. Left. 
Last set, right and left. Lower those legs slowly. Woo! Yeah, rock and roll. Good. Let's take the hands by the chest, palms down. Press up onto those knees. Widen the knees to the edge of your mat, and let's come into prayer. Ah, big sigh, everybody. Ooh. Good. Coming back onto all fours, tuck those toes meet you in down dog let's just lift that right leg up in the air stack the right hip on top of the left and look under the right armpit breathe here go ahead and bend the leg so that the heel is sort of bobbing towards the the, the booty Good, now take that knee, scrape it forward, scoot it forward underneath and across, shoot the right leg out in front of you and come into side plank with L-shaped legs. Breathe. Look at your mat, place the left hand back down, Lift that right leg off the ground and then take it down to down dog. Now you can stay in down dog or you can come down to all fours and do a little push up and then come back to down dog. Left leg comes up. Stack the left hips on top of the right hip. Send the toes to the ceiling, look under that left armpit. Let the heel drop towards the, the booty. Open up that hip a little bit more. And then scrape that knee. I don't know why I'm saying scrape it. Scoot it. <laughs> Trace it forward. And shoot it straight forward. So we're in side plank with L 90 degree angle legs. Breathe. And look at that mat. Take the right hand down to the mat. Send the left leg up. Come to down dog. If you want, do a little chaturanga or a half chaturanga push up. And then come back into prayer. All right. Let's come to sitting. Whatever position is comfortable for you. We're going to do a, another little check in. Hands on the body. So you can put your hands anywhere you want. Left hand can go on your heart, right hand can go on your belly. You can have your hands on your thighs, you can have your hands on your shoulders, you can have your hands on the top of your head. We're just going to take a few seconds to just be with our hands on our body, wherever that feels. Wherever, whatever body part is being called to be held. And while we're here, just one more time, visualize the dissipation of stress, almost like steam. Just it's the, the stress is literally just steaming off of us, just dissipating off. Good. Now, again, come to a comfortable position. 
We're going to just do a few arm movements, just <clears throat> very simple. So without weights, we can really get a lot of strength in our arms. We're going to reach up, palms forward on the inhale, exhale, elbows come down into the rib cage. Now don't just do the movement. I want you to feel the, the muscles engaged as you pull down. Inhale, exhale, pull. In through the nose. Engage those arms, engage. Let's just do eight more. Good, take the left palm down, take the right hand to the side of the head, open up the side of the neck. I want nice engaged glutes and abs right here. Pull your core in towards your spine, lift those glutes. Everything is not held in tight, not like holding your breath, but nicely lifted. And switch. And one more set of arms. All we're gonna do is send the palms back and then up. Little half circles back. We can do our breath of fire here. Press that back wall and you press the, the palms back and then up and back. Use your ujjayi breathing. So you close the back of your throat so you can make that hissing sound. 10 more. That's two, three, And 10, release, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, feel it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, that was our pranayama. So let's come up to standing, tuck those toes, find a way to come up to standing, nice and easy, let's get a drink of water. We're gonna go a little over today because we started a little late. All right, <clears throat> let's come to a wide stance with the feet wider than hip distance apart. Take the hands out, inhale, exhale. We're gonna go through a flat back. The knees are not locked, yeah? So our knees are slightly bent. We're gonna take five squats right here. Bend the knees over the toes and then come right up. Keep that back flat. One, this, that was one, two, three, four, and five. One more time, bend the knees, and as we straighten the legs, tilt the hands forward and the head forward and release. Ah, oh, give yourself a nice big sigh here. I'm doing a little figure eight with my torso, just kind of waving in the wind. Go ahead and take that left hand all the way across the body. We're gonna leave the leg straight. We're gonna twist with the right arm up. Breathe here. Send the weight back on your, uh, to the back of your feet so you get that stretch of the inner thigh. And then cross to the other side. 
twist. Good. And now this time cross back to the right, bend the right knee over the right toes and twist again, sending the hips back. Little deeper stretch for the inner thigh and the hamstring. When you're ready, cross over to the other side. Same thing. And let's just do five back and forths. One, two, twist and twist, just to get a little heat, little cardio. Two more. Good, and walk those hands forward. Take the heels in, toes out, squat, sumo squat. Take the elbows into the knees and bring the hands to prayer. See how long you can hang out here before it just is like, your body's like, no. Breathe. And if you can, stand up. From there, whoo, good. All right, so I wanna do something a little different since our theme is yoga for a good day. What I, I mean a good day. Yes, yoga for a good day. Let's not have rough days. I wanna do a little kind of moving um, breath exercise. So the pattern is this. We're gonna inhale as we scoop the arms forward and bend the knees. We're gonna bring we're gonna bring the elbows together as we stand. Open the elbows, take the hands behind the head, and then clear the space, pressing outward and down. Then we're gonna scoop again. So we inhale, scoop, elbows come together, elbows open, hands come from come behind the head. And then exhale, palms up, like you're trying to clear, like there's trees overhead and you're clearing the way. And then you come back down, bending those knees. So this is the pattern. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Scoop, elbows, clear the air. Now, if you want, when you do the clearing the air, you can also dive through a flat back into forward fold and then scoop again. So I wanna kind of use this as a moving mantra of clearing the space, clearing out all the negative energy that we don't need. We're gonna do five of these movements together. Uh, it will actually together, but in our own time. Matching the movement with your breath. So when you're ready, and if you don't get the exact coordination, it's okay, just do your own version. We're scooping and then we're clearing, it's spreading out, making space. Here we go, ready? Begin. <sighs> On that last dive, come into a forward fold and hang out there. Shake your head no. Shake your head, yes. Shake those knees out, wag the tail. We're gonna roll up and we're gonna come right to tree pose. Pick up that leg as soon as you get vertical. Find your focal point, balance, and be.
Good, let's take a nice deep breath in, swinging the arms up, dive through, come back to forward fold, hang out there for a second. Take it out, big sigh. Rolling up, rolling up right onto that other leg. So you almost go right onto one leg. That's the challenge right there. Finding your focal point is the most important part of that. As soon as you get those eyes up, you find that little spot about 10 feet in front of you that you want to focus on. And that's your anchor. Good. All right. I think it's time for goddess. Haven't done goddess in a while. And when we've had a rough day, going into goddess is a really wonderful place to gather our resources. We're going to come down. This is all about that root chakra that connects us with the earth, the center of the earth. So just finding that goddess pose for a minute. Knees are over the toes. That's really important. Pelvis is dropping straight down between the legs. The shoulders are on top of the hips. We don't want to be leaning forward. We're not surfing goddesses, <laughs> although we could be. Why not? <sighs> Breathe. Let's just take three breaths here. Good. On the next inhale, pick up that left heel and twist into crescent with the right leg forward. Let's breathe in crescent, lift the chest towards the ceiling, drop the scapulas. Crescent is called crescent because you're trying to get that scooped feeling, that, again, that arc. And drop that heel, come back to goddess. Three breaths. On the inhale, lift the right heel. Pivot into crescent on the left side. Breathe. And drop that heel. Goddess, three breaths. On the inhale, pivot, lifting that left. Come to crescent for a minute. Find your crescent and then use that momentum, that shape, to push all the way over into standing split. Take the hands down to the mat. Take the nose to the knee. It doesn't matter where your leg is. It's just got to be as high as, as you can get it. Hold. We're going to tap that toe three times to the ground. Tap it. Lift it back up. Tap it. Lift it back up. Tap. And lift, hold, and back into crescent. Drop that leg. Find your balance. Come back into goddess. Last, well, second to last time. Three breaths. On the inhale, pivot to the left. Find your crescent. Use this shape to push off that back leg, hands come to the mat, nose to the knee, leg is up in the air, hold and reach that toe to the ceiling. If you can get those hands a little closer to the foot, try that, tap the toe three times. Back into crescent. 
and back into goddess. Last time, goddess, five breaths. Hold and breathe. Sink a little lower. And come into star, up on those toes. High, 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 high. Hold. And release, shake it out. Wow. All right. Beautiful. Let's come down. <clears throat> Take the right leg and cross it over the left. Remove the the muscle and fat from the bone. Get on those sits bones if you can. Sit nice and tall. Now this is a stretch for me, my hips. I don't need to do much more than this to feel a really nice hip stretch. If you want further, you can actually swing those arms forward and drop the, no the nose to the knee or maybe the forehead. Breathe here. Very slowly come out of that. Go ahead and extend the bottom leg. Keep the top leg where it was. Lengthen as you sit tall. Inhale. Exhale, wrap that left arm around the right knee as you look over the right shoulder. Just a little gentle spinal twist. Pull that knee across the body. And release, extend those legs out to a V. Give yourself a little rub down. And let's just do a few pancake abs here, hands behind the head. Inhale, flex those feet. Exhale, lower the torso, don't bend the spine and lift. These are actually really more back abs, back abs, no, it doesn't make any sense. Using your, you're using your core and your back. Yeah, just a few little gentle pancake movements. Good. Ah, all right, release. Now, um, wait, we just did that. Okay, so now tuck the right underneath the left, remove, the meat from the bone, get on top of those sits bones, Whew. and find a spot that feels tolerable. And then when you're there, that may be enough. And if you want a little further, you can swing those arms forward and release <clears throat> over the top of that knee. Keep those hips rooted into the ground. Walking those hands up slowly, extend the bottom leg, lengthen the spine, inhale, look up, swing the arms up, exhale, twist, grab that knee with the inside part of your elbow and twist to the left, pulling that knee into the chest. So you're using that as traction, this is not a gentle twist like we did at the beginning. We're a little bit more rigorously trying to wring out the spine here.
and recover. Woo! Take those legs out to that V one more time. And let's just do a little soft rainbow back and forth. Inhale, touch the toes if you can with those fingertips and recover. Other side. Inhale as you recover, exhale as you reach up and over. Good. And one last time, we're gonna scoop that energy in. Exhale, arms come forward to the ground and keep those feet flexed, toes re reaching towards the ceiling and just surrender forward into the ground. Breathe. Good. Walking those hands up and swing that leg across. Find your way back onto your backs gently into a nice long chaturanga position. Just released, relaxed. We're going to do uh, <clears throat> not <a> chaturanga. <laughs> uh, shavasana pose, corpse pose. And when we're in our Shavasana today, today for just maybe three minutes, the visual mantra is that, that shedding. Yeah, just that dissipating stress, letting go. When you're ready, you might want to bring your hands to your face and just give yourself a little 
sinus rub down, a little massage across your sinuses. Uh, maybe along the front of your ears and along your jaw. And then when you're ready, you can come to sitting and we'll close our class with our hands in prayer and we'll just thank our bodies. We um, are so lucky we have, we are abled and we are sturdy and healthy and we are able to move our body and contort our body and be silly and play with our body. We are so lucky, we are so blessed. Thank you body for being here for me. And the spirit in me salutes the spirit in you. Namaste. Bye everybody, thank you for coming.